Hello, welcome to my channel. Today I'm um, a short video on home switches, homing switches. Uh, when I bought my uh, X-Carve in January, I ordered it in January, I didn't purchase the uh, homing switches because uh, I watched a lot of videos and people said, oh, I have these switches, I don't know what to do with them. Uh, they don't seem like they're worth anything, so I didn't, I didn't purchase them. So since then, and having a bit of experience carving some things, um, I realized the, uh, how important homing switchers are. So let's get started. First of all, we need to talk about the difference between limit switches and homing switches. Um, inventables use these uh, terms uh, kind of interchangeably, which is probably what's confusing a lot of people. Strictly speaking, a limit switch would be something that would stop your machine if it hit the physical limits of, of the bars. But that's not what uh, Inventable sells. What they have is homing switches. What homing switch does is it gives you a machine 000, a physical 000XYZ, so that when you, every time you use your machine, you have a reference point that it can always go back to. So you don't actually need uh, homing switches. I mean, you can carve perfectly well without them. But I, I like to think of it in terms of you could own a house, but you don't really need house insurance. But then one day something bad happens. Uh, you know, the tree next door falls and hits your roof. And suddenly you're pretty glad that you got that insurance. So homing switches work the same way. What they'll do is if something bad happens in the middle of your carve, because you've set a physical 000 XYZ, they allow you to, you know, if you have to shut down the machine or you have an OMG moment, they allow you to go back and rehome. So then you, you're back to 000 and your machine will know where your work 000 is. So you can use, if you're using uh, easel, you can use the use last, um, use last XY coordinates. So that's mainly what it's for. And, and it, it's also handy if you, you've, um, if you've done part of a carving and you know, it's, it's finished that one part and now you got to change the bit, and move to the next part and the wife says, oh, dinner's ready. Uh, you can shut down and, um, and as long as you haven't moved the uh, your workpiece, you leave it clamped down, you can return later or even a couple days later and, um, you know, uh, start your carving all over again. So it's, it's very handy. Uh, so now let's look at the um, actually installing the components. So here's what you need um, to, to install your homing switches. Uh, you need three micro switches. Uh, I got mine at the uh, local uh, electronics store. Um, one for each access, uh, X, Y, and Z. Uh, you need six M2 screws. You need uh, one M3 screw with nuts. You need uh, some um, two M5 screws with adding T slots. Uh, some spacers. I used uh, a couple of uh, larger nuts for the spacers. And you need about 20 feet of, um, of one pair wire. I, I used some speaker wire that I had. Um, if you don't have um, a pair of wire, you could uh, take uh, two wires and, and stick them in a drill and uh, spin them so that they twist together. I also added some... Uh, bullet uh, connectors just to make it easier if I ever need to replace the switch. And I soldered up some pigtails on the uh, on the micro switches. If you buy the inventable ones, they come with little uh, tabs that you can uh, have a, a connector to them. So I soldered mine and used the bullet connectors and that way if one of them has to be replaced, it won't be a big deal. Yeah, so uh, make sure you uh, label your wires before you install it through the chain link. And uh, then you um, uh, wire it up according to the back. On the back it says limit switches, but these are homing switches, as I stated before. 
and then install the uh, three uh, micro switches um, on each axis X Y and Z and the posts which are used to, as the stop to, to trigger the uh, micro switches uh, for complete instructions I suggest you uh, go to Inventables uh, instructions for the X carve they give you fairly um, fairly good instructions there it should be pretty easy to follow so now that you have it all hooked up it's time to deal with the software side of things so open up a easel um, sign in and just pick a new project and go up to machine and uh, set up your machine this is the same as what you would do if you were uh, when you set up your machine the first time then fill in your uh, the requirements of the machine confirm settings So we're just going to skip this part. You would have done this when you first set up your uh, your X carve. So here you see where we enable homing. So then we hit this and it should start the homing sequence. So what it does is it goes up to the uh, it, it does Z first, goes up to the uh, to the switch and then backs off a little, and then it does X and Y together. So by doing Z first, it uh, makes sure it clears everything. And then it, it'll come up to the switch. And then um, when it sees the switch click, it'll back off a little bit so that it's not sitting with the switch depressed all the time. So and there you have it. So we can just get out of here. Um, go back to the machine go to uh, now you can home with that button there or you go down to advanced machine inspector now you see here you're not at zero 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 that's because the it's it has to do with gerbil it works in negative space uh, someone tried to explain it to me I don't know if I really really got it but it doesn't really matter your work position, what you use when you set your uh, your bit on your what you're going to carve, will work in positive stay space, but the machine is in negative space. But it doesn't really matter as long as your machine knows what you're doing. So you can also use dollar sign H in order to uh, home your machine from the console here. So I hope that was uh, helpful in case if you have homing switches and haven't been using them or you were thinking about getting them or like me you had an OMG moment and tried to figure out how the hell do I recover from this. So uh, that's, that's all for now. Uh, like, subscribe, you know what to do.